Beer Tip of the Week is brought to you by TheBeerRian.com, the beer blog read by tens of Christians everywhere. Welcome to Beer Tip of the Week. My name is Greg Qualls, and I'm your host. Beer Tip of the Week is designed for the person out there who wants to do more than just drink their beer, but enjoy their beer drinking experience. Each week, I bring you a simple tip to help you do just that. This week, I'm probably going to share the most fundamental tip of all. Unfortunately, I've unlooked, overlooked it for probably the entire time I've been doing this beer tip of the week. Uh, so stay tuned and find out exactly what I'm talking about. <sighs> beer, 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 Here's the deal. I've been thinking about it this last two weeks. Unfortunately, I'm sorry I didn't send out a beer tip of the week last week um, due to unforeseen circumstances. Um, I was a little preoccupied for that week, so I wasn't able to do it. That's the only information I'm going to give you. Make you wonder for the rest of life what happened to beer tip of the week last week. Ooh. Anyways, so this is probably the most fundamental tip I could give you for enjoying your beer more. And it's simply having Jesus in your life. And I know this sounds corny. I know it sounds religious or stupid. But uh, honestly, I was thinking about it. Without Jesus in my life, beer could take one of two routes in my life. It could take the, the route of being an idol. Uh, it could take the route where beer is my entire life. I have uncles and uh, uh, various uncles. We all have the drunk uncle, I guess you could say, that beer is the center of their world. It is their God. And without Jesus in my life, that's what beer would easily become. I know that for sure. So it wouldn't be something where I would enjoy it. It would be something where it ruled over me and took over my life. So I'd have to say that's one way that Jesus helps me enjoy beer better is that he actually keeps me from making beer everything in my life. Keeps me from being that guy that we all know that, you know, can tell you everything about beer inside and out. And not only that, it just rules our life. The other route that I could take is that I could take easily uh, a route of religion uh, where, and I've done this in the past before, you know, I came to a deeper understanding of who Jesus is in my life, uh, where it could become a route of religion in my life where I, I base who I am off of the fact that I don't drink beer, that I, I stay away from it, that I abstain from it, and I'm better than anybody else because I don't drink beer. And so I'd say, you know, what Jesus saves me from is he actually lets me enjoy beer without having to have, you know, man's laws behind it or anything like that, where I'm not trying to keep to these standards to impress God. I know that God loves me and wants his best for me so that, and wants me to enjoy him fully so that way I can have my best for him. But beyond that, the, the main thing that I could say as far as what Jesus has done in my life is... I have a full understanding that Jesus loves me and that what he did for me on the cross gave me a life of freedom and in that freedom beer is one of those things that I can enjoy and it doesn't have to rule over me and I don't have to live a life abstaining from it to show my purity to other people I or to even God I understand that I have a freedom in him to enjoy it to its fullest extent and what it is um, so that's your beer tip of the week uh, a little religious for some of you guys I know out there that watch this. Uh, you know, you haven't really checked out thebeerian.com, but that's what I'm all about. I'm about mixing God and beer. Um, more God than beer, probably. Uh, but that's the main thing I'd say. If you really, truly want to enjoy beer, get to know Jesus better. Get to know His Word better. Get to know Him in His Word. And just develop a deep relationship with Him. And honestly, I have enjoyed beer more than I could ever understand because of my relationship with Jesus, because of the freedom that I know that I have in Him. So, if you have any tips that you'd like to share with us here at Beer Tip of the Week, you can send them in to tips at the Berean. And also, if you want to make an introduction for us, you can send that in to greg at the .com. That's your Beer Tip of the Week. I'm your host, Greg Qualls. Remember, whether you eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. I'll see you next week.